It is a new day around here as far as water tables go. Eloise. Got Eloise, me needing to get after her for not spraying us over here with freezing water. Yeah, even they, though they she's spraying herself. We decided to go ahead and pull the trigger on a new water table. The other one's over there. It's, I mean, we had it since the first set of twins, so it lasted a good, you know, four and a half years, really. Hi. How old are you, Lindell? Five. Five. Five and a half. Yes, you're five and a half. Cool. Yeah, I know. It's cool. my next half birthday. Well, no, you're not, it would, your birthday's next. How old are you going to be? Six. Six. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to hand the camera over to Rachel. All right, Bear. I'll go get so, Bear and I are over here at the, um, first, the first vegetable garden. <laughs> We're not getting it cleared up as much as we should but we're trying to beat a storm here so we're going to try to go ahead and get the cucumbers that we planted as seedlings as seeds sorry they made them into seedlings <laughs> eloise is hosing everybody down we planted cucumber seeds out of a cucumber that our neighbor gave us and we got little plants they are ready to be transferred into the ground. I've heard that cucumbers do not like their roots to be messed with, so we will see how it goes. And this is not like as good as it should be, but if they're anything like zucchini and cucumber, those things grow like crazy, not cucumber, zucchini and summer squash, they grow like crazy and I feel like it's gonna be great. Yeah. All right, Bear, you, you can leave that there. Do you wanna just bring over the yeah. cucumber? All right, great. Is that a is that a chipmunk? Oh, no, never mind. I need glasses. It's a leaf. Look at that. Look at that. Second nugget, definitely, definitely a good idea. If you have only one nugget and you have more than one kid, and you want to invest in a second mommy, nugget, mommy, you won't regret it. Yes, Bear? And then, and then, and then, mommy. Yeah. Watch over there. Okay. All right, I'm watching. Uh, what? How did you do that? Watch this. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. So it's already 3.30, yeah. four, it's already 4? Four. It's already 4.22. We're just now starting to walk. You had your first day, like in real? My first, like, Not four. veterinary clinic. <laughs> get it, this is the dog I'm doing surgery on. Oh, I get it. Uh, <laughs> I made the joke. I had my first like full day where it was like just me in the clinic seeing my own patients. How was it? Like it was just absolutely magical. I'm so happy to be back. Is it nice to like not be the new guy? I guess you're still the new guy. Yeah, I mean I'm still technically the new guy, even though I've been around the block a couple times. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not as new as the guy you're replacing. Right. Exactly. So. Yeah. Do you, have you like told him a thing or two about how things work? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, and I wasn't actually at Kings Bay today. I was down in Mayport, which is a beautiful location, by the way. Uh, right on the, right on the ocean, basically. Lots of ships are, are stationed there. It's a, it's a really neat clinic and place to be. Cool. Yeah, so I'll be rotating through there. Uh, through Jacksonville, and then finally 
August 1st is like when I take over at Kings Bay, so. Will you not be at Kings Bay at all until then? A little bit. Really? Like, yeah. That kind of stinks. I know, it's a lot of driving, but it's only for what, six weeks. That would, actually, I would really appreciate something where I can like drive a ways. Yeah. Do you listen to a podcast? No, I just listen to like ESPN radio. Is it an hour? Yeah. An hour each way? Give or take, yeah. Yeah. Depending on the traffic. Speaking of Jacksonville. So we, we, I don't know what's going on here. We, they shoved all kinds of things up in that dog's orifices and she's pretty sure there's some like dog treats inside it, trapped with all the things that are shoved I've, up in the other ways. I've got an idea. Um, so today on Instagram I was talking about how well, I was trying to book some flights just to like see where we could get direct flights out of Jacksonville. And as I was doing that, Expedia will not let me book more than six people. So I cannot book a flight for our family, our immediate family on Expedia because we're more than six people in our family. Isn't that crazy? That is. I literally, we literally can't use Expedia to book flights unless we book two separate groups. Yeah. So that was a learning curve or a learning pro learning moment today. Hey! Uh, 